What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this classic. This is the first year Elsinore 250, 1973. Super, super rare piece. This came from Uncle Vinny's collection out of Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, all the bikes he got from him were in pristine condition. When he sold me this one, he told me it had like some obscenely low mile, yeah, 20, 21 miles it ha has on the odometer. And when I bought him, I believed it, but after having the bike and inspecting it, I'm thinking that the odometer was either disconnected or replaced. I think it has more, there's evidence that it's more than 21 miles, but this bike's all original, isn't it, Kyle? Yeah, yep, yeah, it's got the original fenders, it's got, looks, looks to be the original handlebars. It does have aftermarket grips on it, but uh, I mean, uh, the, the main hard parts uh, are believed to be original. The original seat covers, original front fender, the uh, original wheels in good condition. The engine was uh, repainted, the original brown color, as was the exhaust, the exhaust, the, the heat shield, the original tank is in excellent condition. I mean, guys, this bike's 50 years old. It's a 50 year old trail bike. When I, like, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, what a fine first year Elsinore with no miles on it. I was frothing at the mouth. It was part of a big collection I bought. I didn't inspect it that closely, but upon close inspection, we did quite a bit of work to it. We cleaned the gas tank out, freshly cleaned the inside of the tank, put a new fuel pet cock on it, um, new fuel lines, rebuilt the carburetor, cleaned out the air box, changed the gear lube, put a new plug in it, um, started it, ran it, uh, put a new chain on it, uh, rotisserie detailed the whole thing, steam cleaned it, hand washed it, polished it. The original saddle's in good shape. Underneath the seat is in good condition. It's missing the top to the air box and the air cleaner, but it's got the original, everything else, the original seat base is nice. The seat foam is real nice. The, the rear tail light is really nice. Bike's all there, guys. No evidence of ever being dropped on this side. The pegs are nice and straight. Um, engine cases are excellent. Uh, the fork lowers, the chrome on the forks looks serviceable. No dents on the tank on this side, which is remarkable. A 50 year old trail bike. Uh, again, no new fuel pet, pet cock. I believe these are the original bars, uh, original headlight bucket and uh, reflectors. Everything's there and it does run. The, the bad news is, well, it's not that bad of news, but it needs new crank seals, uh, which is probably, what, what does a set of crank seals cost? Uh, the set of crank seals is inexpensive. They're around fifteen to twenty dollars. And how many hours labor? That's where it gets a little expensive. You do have to uh, split the cases to do the crank seals on this bike, uh, which with an experienced A Tech, that's probably about a. My guess would be uh, about a five to six hour job. Okay, cool. But uh, bike does run. We'll demonstrate that. These are the original tires on it, which is pretty remarkable. Uh, that's what Vinny told me. I do believe these are the original tires, Uncle Vinny. Uh, had this bike in his private storage motorcycle collection. He was selling it because he was buying a new building. We'll fire it up for you. Bike hasn't been started in a while. Turn the key on. Yeah. Let's try it with the key on. Funny how that works. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Motor, motor sounds good. Want to ride it down the other end of the museum back? That yeah, might work. I need Try the horn. Clutch is sticking since it's been sitting for 40 years. Transmission's good. Clutch is okay. Bike runs decent. You know what? I'm not. The, the mechanic said I needed crank seals because it's smoking a little bit, but I don't know if that's 100% confirmed. It's barely smoking. It's barely smoking. Are you sure it needs crank seals? 